Students may often say, multiplication makes bigger. Well, yes, but not always. Multiplication with whole numbers makes bigger. But what about rational numbers? What about multiplication with fractions? Many students may struggle with fraction multiplication because the numbers don't seem to behave the way they expect with whole number multiplication. However, by using simple models along with easy to understand problems, you can introduce students to fraction multiplication in a way that will help them develop a good conceptual understanding of this operation. They can then apply this understanding to more difficult problems and to mastery of the algorithm in a meaningful way. When introducing students to fraction multiplication, it is helpful to start by working with problems that involve a whole number multiplier by a fractional amount. These types of problems involve a multiplicative situation that more closely resembles whole number multiplication concepts. For example, have students model using fraction strips problems like 5 times 3 fourths. Using combining equal groups as an interpretation of multiplication, students can show 5 groups of 3 fourths or 5 times 3 fourths and use the models to determine the answer. Five times three fourths is one, two, three, and three fourths. As students grow comfortable with this representation of fraction multiplication, you can introduce the symbolic procedures that can be used to solve the problems. Carefully relate the algorithms to the models as students solve the problems. Once students are comfortable multiplying a whole number by a fraction, they can begin multiplying a fraction by a fraction. Start by using simple examples and emphasizing the meaning of multiplication in which equal groups are combined. It is also helpful to use the term of when stating the problems. Asking, what is one half of one fourth? What if you had a half of a group of one fourth? Simple models can be used to represent these situations, such as a simple paper folding activity or this fraction manipulative found at the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. One third of one third is one ninth. One-third of two-thirds is two-ninths. One-fourth of two-thirds is two-twelfths. A similar model can be constructed with paper and crayons. Grids of different dimensions can be used to model multiplication with fractions of different denominators. Thirds and fourths, fourths and fourths, fourths and fifths, and so on. Students can color in the fractions. Here, two-fifths and one-fourth, and then find the overlapping sections. Two-fifths times one-fourth is two-twentieths. It is important to begin with examples such as these that are straightforward and easy to understand. This way, students should be able to easily remember a few introductory examples and use them to help confirm their understanding of fraction multiplication as they work on more difficult problems. Because the algorithm for multiplication with fractions is relatively straightforward, many students quickly and superficially learn the algorithm and use it without applying a good conceptual understanding. 
This can yield frequent errors, misconceptions, and a faulty assumption that the concept has been mastered. It is important to have students model many fraction multiplication problems that involve a variety of situations. Whole number by fraction, fraction by fraction, mixed number by fraction, improper fraction by whole number, etc. And to have students relate the algorithms or symbolic procedures for solving each problem to the model. Many students may struggle with fraction multiplication, but as you can see, by modeling a few easy to understand and easy to represent problems, fraction multiplication can make sense to all students.